Hello and welcome to Back to A Bit. Today I'm going to do the uh, second part of my recent episode of Sealed Cassettes. A couple of months ago I did a video showing you Manic Miner cassette that was purchased by myself as a sealed cassette and I took you through some examples of some of the pitfalls that you could go through and, and how to sort of recognize if uh, this was the real McCoy or not. Recently there's been quite a, a few cassettes or games being resealed and being sold at a profit. Now sealed games do sell for a lot more than uh, uh, unsealed games so probably not much more probably just twice the price but you know these this is a way of some of these uh, people to try and make a profit out of these things fortunately there are still a few cassettes out there that are sealed and they are the real thing i know the manic miner part of the software projects um, team they did quite a few of their games as sealed cassettes and you know this one was real you can see the uh you know as I say, you can go back to my original video, but uh, you can see it's got the original banding of software products along the actual cassette, and it's in perfect condition with no scuff marks or anything like that. But I'll put a link to the uh, uh, video for you to have a look at it in more detail. But this is a perfect example of a sealed cassette, um, which I just won't open because I know it is a real thing, and it's a, it's a shame to uh, open this up after you know 40 years or so. Anyway, this one is a different case. I purchased this one on eBay, advertised as a sealed cassette. I paid probably £10 for it. And I think these tend to sell for three or four pound unsealed and quite common. And it was quite known that these cassettes as part of the original Horizon starter pack were sealed in the box of a Spectrum. When you bought a Spectrum, you'd always find one of these cassettes inside the box. And it was usually always sealed. I mean, anybody in the UK would know if you went into a supermarket and bought a, 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 a cassette, they would never seal because they used to hide the cassettes and the actual tapes themselves and lock them away in a the cabinet. So you used to take the empty cassette, take it up to the cabinet, and they used to put the cassette inside the case for you. Uh, but this one, yeah, is very common to have these sealed and probably still find some of them still sealed. So I'm going to move this one away and let's focus on this one. Now, I was a bit suspicious of this one when I received it. If you can have a closer look, as I bring this one back in, actually, you can see it as well. Um, but on my original video, I did say to look out for scuff marks and, you know, signs of wear on the inlay cover. And you can see just on the edge of the inlay cover behind the seal, it's frayed. And, that, and that's because it's been opened a few times, maybe. If it hasn't been opened, you wouldn't have that deterioration showing. Okay, and, and 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 the cassette itself, it's it doesn't it looks faded. It looks a bit scuffed. And you see marks around the cassette. I don't know if you can see closely. But it's like scuff marks. And that's actually on the cassette. That's not on the uh, seal. And the seal, it doesn't look great anyway, as opposed to like a new one, which is nice and tidy. And the seal goes around the, 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 the edge of this, where this time the seal looks like it's going round the length of it. So normally people wouldn't dare to open up these uh, sealed cassettes. But I'm going to open this one up. I'm going to do it live because I just want to verify just some of the marks on, this inlay, on the inlay cover and just to prove there's no way this was sealed from factory back 40 years ago this has been resealed so let's try and get this open there we go throw it away we've got the cassette and it's probably hard to see from the camera but there are a lot of scuff marks along the cassette in great detail that's wear and tear and again it's not perfect. There's marks all over it. There's no way that's been sealed for 40 years and not been out in the world. No way at all. That has got to be a fake. Let's have a look in the cassette. Now, 
I have heard a story, I, I think this is courtesy of This Week in Retro, uh, that did an episode, well, did a, an article on uh, seal cassettes. And I think somebody did make a comment where when they did open up one of these, or, or a seal cassette, there wasn't actually the cassette in there, it was just a bit of word or, or the wrong cassette was stored in it. So let's see what's in this box. Yep. And it is, it does, yeah, it is, it is the original start, well, starter cassette. It is the right cassette in there. Let's have a look. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Look. It's not even been rewound. Look at it. That's not been rewound. You can see. Both sides. It's right in the middle of the cassette. And that should be red. That's live cassette tape, that is. They haven't taken the patience to even rewind the cassette before sealing it. Well, there you go, guys. I'm, a, I'm really astonished. I can't believe that's just happened, actually. Let me know what you think. Have you got a seal cassette? Have you come across any bad ones in your time? Would you dare open them up just to make sure if it's real or not? Anyway, I hope that's opened a few eyes. I'll be back very soon. Take care. Goodbye. Okay, this is where I need your help. If you've enjoyed what you've seen today, or at least got something out of it, then please give us a like. Subscribe to our channel. And maybe even leave us a comment. It all helps to keep this channel going. And remember, it's all just a bit of fun. And don't forget to check out our other videos.